Hi there, I'm Caesar. Welcome back. Uh, in, the, in the previous video, we implemented a push model for our graph, our dependency graph. So we have several tests here, and if we run that, everything is passing. Oh, it's good. So in this video, we will do a little bit of cleanup and oops, and yeah, and basically add support for multiple models. So that way in the future we will be able to implement a pool or maybe an hybrid, I don't know. But right now I feel like the push model is too, uh, too integrated into the graph. So we have to abstract that a little bit. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, well, let me first comment out most tests. I basically... I don't want that much uh, login, so it's easier for me to work with this. Um, so how to do this? So basically we need to set a model in the graph, right? So let's do graph.model. In this case, we'll be equal to digipy dot this is a push. So if we do that, this should pass. Right, and this test should be fine. So let me create, well, let me duplicate this for now. So test uh, multiple model or I don't know, model abstraction. I don't know. But basically, if we don't set the model, to push, so let's say this known, this should fail. Actually, this the value should be known. Like we don't want any evaluation. So let's do this. That is known. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So if we run this, uh, we have an error. Um, basically, is five is not known. We are always evaluating and getting five, so we have to fix that. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, so our graph now support a model. So self that model is equal to known to whatever you set over there. Uh, so every node created in the graph will have that model by default I guess so note that model it's equal to self that model and now we can use this to change the behavior of the nodes so let's use that and the only let me take a look Yeah, so the only real difference is on the port. So in a push model, we say that every time we set a value in a port, we want to evaluate the node. So this should happen only if self that owner that model is equal to push. So when that's true evaluate otherwise don't do anything uh, and in the output port we say that if it's connected go and push the value to the input ports that are connected to this output so we want to well basically do that only if this is a push model so I have a few errors What's this push? Did they call? Oh, so push <laughs> will be equal to something zero. Okay, so we run that. Uh, we basically 
uh, define the behavior of the graph. So that's it for now. Uh, we have a, a bit of time, so let me do something else. Uh, first, let's uncomment all the other tests. Uh, make sure that everything is running fine. Everything is fine. So yeah, uh, let's take a look at this login uh, when we run the test. And right now, yeah, we know which node is evaluating, but we don't have enough information. So let's add a few debug uh, messages there. So let's yeah unroll this for loop. I think that's a good idea. So this will be zero. I don't care about that for p in input port values. Oh, uh, if the value is not known, I want to add that to result. So p dot value. So this should be exactly the same. It's a little bit more verbose, but yeah, everything is running fine. So now we can add some messages here. So message will be equals to, you want to log the port name. So port name, the port value, the port value. Yeah, let's do that like this. So this dot name, this port dot value. Uh, yeah, and uh, if the port is connected, uh, we want to add to that message. So message add uh, is I don't know, connected. So that's it. And at the end, I want to, well, and I have to log this, right? So logger dot debug, and we set the message there. And at the end, I would like to uh, log a, a quick like separator to make things easier to read. Let's try. Let's run the test. So now it's it's a bit better, and you can see what's going on the values. So let's say single node evaluation we create a node one we evaluate that we set when we set value to two when we set value one to two we evaluate this when we set value two to three we evaluate it again makes sense right so test persistent connections we create a node one we set the value one to two evaluation we set the value two to three evaluation that's a push model we create a new node, we do the same. Here we connect value two to uh, node one result, so two plus three. Notice that this is not triggering any evaluation because the value is already calculated there. And then we change in node one value one to 10 instead of two, and that triggers the evaluation of node two. Right, this is connected and this is 13. So this is useful. It's easy to see what's, well, it's easier to see what's going on uh, in the graph. So yeah, I think we're in, in good shape to start implementing different models. Um, so that's it. In the next video, we'll talk about the pool model. What's that about, how it works, and hopefully, hopefully implement that. So see you in the next one. Bye-bye.